Hey everybody, you can see today I'm not at my vanity with my ring light. I am outside and this is going to be a different kind of video. Today's video we're going to be showing you how we lime washed our house. We've had lots of uh, time for projects during the so social distancing, quarantine, all that. So I'm going to show you the whole process, how we started, why we picked lime wash and all that. So when we took the shutters down it, some of these nails got left uh, in there so before we lime wash Reed's gonna he's taking them all out I'm gonna lime wash too you think so so Reed just had to remove the nails that were left from the shutters that we took off and now he's getting rid of the old uh, doorbell is that what that was cord uh, the spot you can see though like it looks like paint that was where the old shutters were so I found some blogs where people talked about lime washing their brick and Reed and I talked about lime washing instead of painting because it still allows the brick to breathe and since we live in a humid climate we thought that might be better um, so this is what everyone was using Rom remote I don't know how to say it how do you say it? Romabio. Romabio. Lime wash and Cristallo white. We chose that color because it's uh, the most neutral colored white, but it's also not stark white. He's about to mix it up. It has to be diluted. And um, you can see when he opens the lid what color it is. It doesn't look white at all. And it looks like um, clay, I guess but it's supposed to dry a lot whiter. So anyways, he's gonna mix it up, dilute it with some water. He's gonna use the drill to mix it because uh, we watched a video that said that was the best way to mix it up. There are instructions on the bucket that tell you how to dilute it. One, one to one. It also comes in a four quart, you said, bucket? No, four gallon. A four gallon bucket, but these are the, we got two of the small, just one quart, right? Uh, one, one gallon. I mean, I don't know why I keep saying quart. One gallon bucket, um, because Reed calculated the square footage. We only have this red brick on the front of our house. So we saved money by not buying the four gallon bucket. Mama, guess what? What? I'm gonna paint. Hmm. I never paint before. Where you wanna do this? Well, I thought you said Here. I could paint. You can, but you gotta mix it up first. So, Reed's just finished mixing it. This is called 100% dilution, is that right? Yep, one to one. The look we're going for is for an opaque look though. A lot of people that lime wash the brick will apply it and then um, like distress it, like um, take some of the lime wash off. But we are going for a solid look here, so we'll see. We did buy some, what are they called? Masonry brushes or something like that. Um, just in case we needed those, but Reed is gonna try to spray the mixture onto the brick with this air sprayer. So part of the reason that we wanted to do something to the brick, originally we said we were gonna paint, was because you can see here, the addition that they added on or enclosed the garage, whatever they did, it's a different brick and the mortar is even a different color. So I'm excited to see what the lime wash is gonna look like. However, I'm not sure about these white columns. We might have to, Reed and I have talked about maybe um, casing them with some type of wood. He said cedar. I don't know. And Reed's also might be building some new shutters. We definitely threw the other ones away, so there's no turning back. But we're going to see how it looks with um, the paint, I mean the lime wash, and then go from there. <laughs> no, don't take a picture of me. What are you doing? I'm about to spray the house. With what? With lime wash. Who said? That I did. He said you could help? Mm-hmm. You sure? Mm-hmm. Okay. I think you're more of a supervisory role. How about that? 
So we had some trouble with the big sprayer, but we got the other sprayer out, and this is what we have so far. This is about 30 minutes of work, but we are questioning whether we're going to have enough to do two coats or not. But really, all there's left is to cut it in and there's two small pieces by the front door. So we ran out of paint, as you can see, but this is... What well, we got done with two gallons the bad thing is i had to order two more and they won't be here for a few days but reed has to work this weekend anyway so these two pieces in the middle reed did with the brush and i think it went on thicker because it looks better to me i don't know i know this brick down there you can see the darker brick through the, through the first coat. I guess it's because it had those darker bricks in it and this side didn't. I don't know. I can kind of see still see some brick through that one too. So we want it to be more opaque. Kind of like these look. We'll see. Again, this is what we have so far. Just the wider view of it. It looks very different though. I'll say that. So we got the rest of our buckets in yesterday and Reed's put another coat on after he cut in. One thing that I did not get a video of was when you first apply the lime wash to the brick, the red brick, you're supposed to wet it down, wet the brick down. Not dripping wet, but just like mist it. But, uh, since there's already lime wash on there, you can just go over it with uh, lime wash. Took five uh, coats all together on the outside, and then uh, right around the door was just two with a brush. But I sprayed five on the outside. So I definitely think that we need some shutters on those, at least the two end um, windows, because it's very, very like white now. Um, so we're going to start with those shutters. And then maybe we're still talking about the columns, so we'll see. All right, y'all, we finished it up. The only thing left is to put our new address numbers up and pressure wash the, what do you call it? Sidewalk. No, the extra spray. Oh, uh, overspray. Yeah. Uh, it comes right off with water. Um, how long does, you, do you th does it take to dry the lime wash? It says it's cured or it sets in five minutes and cures in like five days so after about five minutes you can you can get it wet and it's okay as long as you don't just drown it with water but if you did it and you decide you didn't like it you have up until five days to take it off of your house right that's Correct. like their their thing yeah um so what if you had to do it again what would you do differently mm, i think I don't really know of anything that I would do different. Um, I think it went pretty smooth. It was easy spraying it. I would definitely spray it again before I would paint it on. Cause, I mean, it took me, what, probably four or five hours yesterday just to do the cutting around the windows and around right up under the eave. Yeah. And it took me 15 minutes to spray it. Uh, so spraying it's definitely the ticket. You just gotta be careful for overspray. And, you know, if you got a pressure washer, it's no big deal. Uh, one mistake we made was not getting enough lime wash in the beginning, but even though we had to order those two other gallons, we still saved money versus buying the four gallons altogether, even though we ended up buying four gallons, right? Yeah, I think it was, uh, it was like $46 a gallon, um, and then after shipping and everything, it was right at $50, so it was 200 bucks for four gallons if you bought them in individual gallons. Or it was two forty nine for one four gallon bucket, so it was you know save yourself forty or fifty bucks. I think Reed calculated the uh, what do you call it square feet, mm -hmm. but I think because we wanted a solid opaque look for the lime wash, I think that's why it took more than we thought. Um, yeah, I, they have a calculation on there. It just depends on, on what you Ramavio want. On the website, I think. Yeah. Yeah. They also have a page, an article on there that helps you choose your color um, if you're interested. 
uh, like when you're going around your windows and stuff like that, don't be scared if it gets on the window. You don't have to wipe it off uh, quickly. I mean, I, I left it on there for, I don't know, it's been a week now, and I just took a little a razor blade and just scratched it right off the window. It didn't hurt. Or if you do it within, you know, if you get some overspray on there and you wipe it off within a day or two, it's fine. It comes off real easy with just water on a rag. So I, I wouldn't be scared to get it on your windows. Oh, 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 oh,